Saturn is a very exploited planet. As people say that one should be afraid of Saturn. Because astrologers have so falsely blamed Saturn, Rao and Ketu that it seems like the world is afraid of Saturn, Rao and Ketu but these astrologers are not. However, so recent trend has been that, you know, over time we have found many Saturn temples throughout India as well where people go and worship Saturn. But I believe that many notions related to Saturn, Saturn is unfounded. Right? So we will know about the reality of Saturn, what Saturn signifies in astrology today in this video. First of all, Saturn is significator of sorrow. In the same manner, Sun is the significator of soul and all of that. Saturn is the significator of sorrow. Now, what does this do? For every other planet, for example, say Sun is the significator for king. So, if Sun is powerful, one is kingly. Sun is the significator of soul. If Sun is powerful, one is cautious about soul, not hurting people and all of that, right? One is spiritual, right? One follows the science of soul, spirituality. For Saturn, it is opposite. Saturn indicates sorrow. Saturn is powerful. It gives less sorrow. Saturn is weak. It gives more sorrow. That is a basic point. Now, where the sorrow comes from? What I have noticed that the sorrow of Saturn comes from the wrong decisions of the native itself. Right? Saturn does not give sorrow from other sources. Saturn gives sorrow by your wrong decisions, by your over libido, spending your time and power into things that is not going to benefit you through these matters only. So if you want to keep Saturn giving you good results, you have to make sure not to take self-detrimental decisions, not to waste your time in doing things that will not benefit you and be ethical and moral, especially related to sexuality. Otherwise, Saturn will give you very bad results. Saturn also indicates servant. What it means that if Saturn is powerful, one will have many servants or many associates, many people who will work for the data. On the other hand, when Saturn is weak and afflicted, then one is servant-like. One have to serve others. And like, you know, servant is not free to do anything. He will have to seek the permission of his boss, master to do anything. Right? He will have to look up to others. So when Saturn is weak and afflicted in horoscope, one does not have much freedom in life. They will have to look up. The native will have to look up to others to do even smallest things. That is what it indicates. Saturn is named as month. That means slow. It does indicate that if Saturn is giving anything, Saturn gives it slowly. For example, it is a well-known fact that if Saturn is connected to 7th house, one is late married. Though not particularly very true. But it is believed. The interesting point I have noticed is people know the combination for late marriage. For example, Saturn connected to 7th house, but they don't know combination for early marriage. So, because you have to know both things. The combination for bad marriage also, you have to know combination for early marriage also, you have to know. Then you have to judge accordingly which factor is more powerful. But people only know combination for late marriage, not for early marriage. That is problematic. So my point is that Saturn is called month, that means slow. So Saturn indicates that things may get delayed, which it does not indicate if Saturn is good. In own Rashi, exaltation over Guttam, etc. Saturn does not indicate things happening slowly, but indicates things happening at right point of time. Only we can afflicted Saturn will delay things. Now people also believe that Saturn delays but never denies. It is nowhere told that it never denies. Right? If someone is getting married at the age of 80 and you can say that marriage is delayed but not denied but what not denied getting marriage is 80 what you can enjoy of marriage only you can take out of it god knows how people make such principles this should not be understood this way saturn denies as well delays also but it does it only when it is weak and afflicted otherwise not any planet who is powerful 
any house lord who is powerful indicates that the result of the house or the result of the planet comes very early comes soon right so even if saturn is connected to seventh house but saturn is strong on rashi multurkon vargottam then marriage happens at right age seventh lord is powerful it will indicate early marriage in this scenario saturn will not be able to delay it also right apart from that saturn is the son of the planet sun now because saturn is the son of the planet sun and a planet sun is the king so saturn indicates that the person comes from great lineage right because sun is the king sun have a great lineage saturn being the child of it saturn powerful connected to ascendant 10th house 9th house these houses which indicates ancestry even belongs to if saturn is connected to these houses certainly a positive connection because this is a good result right positive connection of saturn with lagna 10th house and 9th house does indicate that person comes from a noble family is children of someone who is well known and respected in the society right that is one thing that also should be understood apart from that saturn is also known as chhayatmaj that means son of shadow chhaya was the name of the mother of uh, saturn so chhayatmaj chhaya that is shadow it is a shadow of a person right so an afflicted saturn or a weak saturn may indicate that person lives like a shadow of someone a replica of someone not having his own identity or not succeeding much in life so this is also indicated by saturn saturn is also known as pangu pangu means one who is having problems in legs so weak and afflicted saturn saturn connected to disease also 6th house 8th house 12th house will also indicate one having problems in legs as such problems in leg as well right apart from that saturn is a cruel planet saturn is called as crur so when saturn is very powerful or connected to ascendant moon ascendant lord navamsh ascendant or the moon sign in moon in navamsh these factors indicate the nature of the person and because saturn is cruel it will indicate that native may be cruel in personality native will be a cruel person apart from that any house or house lord saturn is connected with the relatives indicated by those houses will also be proven so that also should be understood saturn is also named as kapilaksh kapilaksh means one who is having kapil eyes kapil eyes are eyes like pigeon so this means aggressive red eyes so saturn give red aggressive eyes as well apart from that saturn is also known as dirgh dirgh means tall so saturn gives good height to the person makes a native tall also saturn is known as asur that means a demon so saturn also give demon tendencies demon tendencies as in demons have the tendency of like gods love light day and goodness demons love misery night and detrimental things now remember these are negative results any planet will only produce negative result when he is weak and afflicted so when saturn is weak and afflicted he will produce these negative results that is point 1 when saturn is beneficial he will not produce these results but now i told you that saturn in tears night also and asuric demonical tendencies disturbing others and these are the negative tendencies of saturn so if you have these tendencies in your nature behavior and character you will be activating the saturn negatively and it will give you bad results related to houses and planets he is connected with so carefully the significations are to be judged in complexion saturn indicates dark complexion black complexion that it gives to the native or the person signified by the houses saturn is connected with if you want to offer something to someone donate something for saturn that should be black in color for saturn lord brahma should be worshiped now brahma temple is only there in pushkar so one can go to brahma temple and worship lord brahma in pushkar that is one thing saturn also indicates prajapati now prajapati is not prominently worshiped nowadays 
Prajapati means the king of the pati, pati, pati means king also. The king of the praja, the king of the masses. So one giving money in government funds, following government, supporting government, right, helping in things that government wants to achieve with help of common people is also a good remedy for Saturn. Saturn also indicates Lord Yama. Yama is elder brother of Saturn. So Lord Yama is not worshipped by the way. But Lord Yama is also connected to Saturn. Now some people I think in between this was also uh, thought that you should go to Samshan, you should go to funeral pyre and in Hindu Samshan where Hindu do their last rites there is a temple also. So you should worship in that temple, give donations in that temple or you can make this electric furnace for Saturn, these are negative things. Should not be done. If someone thinks that their life have changed by doing it, they should be happy into it. Right? You are my student. You are following me. I don't advise such things. Right? Going in the temple situated in Samshan, doing th things in Samshan should not be done by people who want prosperity in their life at least. So if you follow me, don't do it. That's one point. Saturn indicate west direction. So generally when Saturn is prominent in your horoscope, he will give you a west facing home. Your office will be in western direction from your home, so on and so forth. In your home, you should keep your western direction neat and clean. That will improve your Saturn. If Saturn is indicating meeting with spouse or anything as such, you will meet your spouse in western direction. This way it should be understood. Saturn is also a malefic planet, so any house and plan any house and Rashi and planet he is connected with, those houses, Rashi's and the planets of Earth. And to realize the significations and get the benefits related to those houses and planets are difficult. And it comes after multiple tries and hard work only. Now Saturn is also an Unuch planet. We talked about Unuch factor in Mercury. Now Saturn being an Unuch planet, the gender is decided by the gender is generally decided for children, right? If the Saturn is connected, if a male planet is connected to fifth house, it will give male children. If male planet is connected to third house, it will give male siblings. Now for unit planet Saturn Mercury, what happens? You should go according to the Rashi. So if Saturn situated in a male Rashi, Aries, Gemini, Leo, uh, uh, Libra, Sagittarius, Aquarius, is connected to fifth house, it will give male children. Connected to third house, will give male siblings. On the other hand, Saturn being situated in Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, Scorpio, uh, Capricorn, and Pisces connected to fifth house, will give female children. Connected to third house, will give female siblings. If Saturn is connected with a planet who is not Mercury, because Mercury is also Unuch, then the planet decides the gender of Saturn, because Saturn is a Unuch. If no planet, the gender of planets you already know. If no planet, then you go according to Rashi. That is one point. My additional point was that, say, for a male horoscope, you want a female partner. If a female planet is connected to 7th house, it is well and good. But if male planet is connected to 7th house, then what will happen? Your life partner will have more of male tendencies, aggressive tendencies, sports, wise, cruelty, etc. Which will make your marital life suffer. In the same manner, if the native is a female, they want a male husband. If male planet is not connected to 7th house, if female planets are connected to 7th house only, then the life partner will be female-like, not taking responsibility, sitting in home, not standing with the native, etc., which will make marital life difficult. Now, with respect to Mercury and Saturn, which are unuch planets, and they are connected to the 7th house, first of all, because they are unuch and 7th house is also related to sexuality, there is sexual dissatisfaction in life, that is one thing. Apart from that, Unuch planets also in Unuch also indicates that the person is not able to take responsibility. Person is easily influenced by others. Person cannot stand up with the native. So life partner is not able to do these things if Saturn is connected. Saturn or Mercury is connected to the seventh house. But these are negative tendencies, and I already told you that if a positive Saturn is connected to the seventh house, then the negative result should not be predicted. Only if negative Saturn is connected to seventh house, then negative result is to be predicted. That is one point. Secondarily, Saturn connected to 7th house, the person with the life partner will be Unuch completely not able to produce child. 
Of course, if Saturn is connected to the seventh house, there can be difficulties in producing children. But then to analyze child, you will also check the fifth house and Jupiter. This you will have to keep in mind. However, if fifth house and Jupiter are little bit afflicted and Saturn is also connected to seventh house, then suddenly because Saturn is a huge planet, it will indicate difficulty in childbirth, can indicate denial also. That is one point. Now, apart from this, one thing, if Saturn is only connected to the seventh house, Saturn being a huge planet, you will not go altogether bluntly and say that the life partner will be an unit. Mercury is also a huge planet. If Saturn and Mercury both are connected to the seventh house and seventh lord is also weak and no other planet other than Saturn and Mercury are connected to the seventh house, then the life partner can be told to be huge, otherwise not. In, in this case, remember, Seventh Lord have to be weak because if the Seventh Lord is not weak, then the life partner will not be Unus at all. This you understand. Apart from that, one more thing is also there regarding Mercury. It was very clear that because Mercury is Unus, he is very volatile to the influences that he achieves, influences that he gets. And we also know that Mercury becomes benefic with a benefic planet, is benefic when alone, becomes malefic with a malefic planet. However, with Saturn, the nature of the Saturn is very clearly defined as malefic. So this particular unique factor that the nature of Saturn changes with the planet he is conjoined or respected by is not applicable to Saturn. This have to be very clearly understood. In elements, Saturn does indicate air element. The thing related to air element is smell. Fragrance. Right. So if one keeps the air of his home clean, one uses air purifier and all of these things, if one keeps their home and other belongings scented, neat and clean, it strengthens Saturn. That is one thing because Saturn indicates air, right? And the quality of air is fragrance as well. So that is one thing. Because of air only, Saturn indicates wind as well and windy complaints are indicated by Saturn. So. In Ayurveda, Vat, Pitt and Kuh, Vat or wind is indicated by Saturn and when Saturn is afflicted, wind related problems. When Saturn is weak, wind related problems. Weakness of bones, problems in digestion, gastric troubles and issues, these things will come. Now gastric troubles and issues is not a problem in itself. By the way, it means it is a indication of other health problems. Owing to this particular reason only, Saturn is a general significator of bad health and when Saturn is afflicted, it indicates bad health through multiple things. That is one point. Saturn indicates a low caste person. So if you are helping and supporting low caste person, you will be improving your Saturn. That is one point. Secondarily, if something is to be given by Saturn, he will generally give it by the help of low caste person. So you say if Saturn is connected to the 10th house, maybe a low caste person will give you, will recommend you a job, will lead you to name, fame, status, authority, etc. Saturn in Gunas indicate tamasic quality. Now tamas indicates that the person do not want to do hard work, but want good results. He thinks that all results belongs to him only and others are not capable of anything at all. He should be the sole benefactor of everything. This negative tendency is given by Saturn if Saturn is first of all afflicted. Secondarily connected to the factors which indicate habit. Factors indicating habit is the ascendant and moon in Rashi and Namavsha. That is one point. Secondarily the tendency of Tamas is ignorance. The tendency of Tamas is delusion. The tendency of Tamas is wasting time and resources. And if you are doing these things you will be negatively influencing your Saturn. Saturn indicate tamasic tendencies. It does not mean you will become tamasic to improve Saturn. Saturn is a malefic planet also. Then in that particular scenario, Saturn will also work as a malefic. So Saturn indicate tamasic tendencies. When malefic, he will give tamasic tendencies. And if you want to improve Saturn, you will stay away from tamasic tendencies, right? You will purify the planet. It is not the case that because Mars is a thief to strengthen Mars, you will start stealing things. No, theft is a bad thing. To strengthen Mars, you will avoid taking anything from anyone without their permission. That is the particular reason when you use anything or take anything without the permission of the person to whom it belongs, it damages your Mars. Then it have to be understood this way. 
Now, if Saturn is connected to seventh house, it will indicate description of spouse. If Saturn is connected to fifth house, it will indicate the description of the child. Saturn connected to third house, description of sibling. Fourth house, description of mother. Fifth, ninth house, description of father. If Saturn is connected to ascendant, if Saturn is the most powerful planet in one for seven ten houses of horoscope, if Saturn is the Navamsh Lagna Lord, if Saturn is the Moon sign Lord in D9, then Saturn indicates his type of body and nature and behavior and character to the native and others that I have mentioned. So what is the nature behavior character of Saturn? Saturn is lazy, first of all. Saturn have tawny eyes. He have a slender body. He is tall. He have long teeth. The hair on the head and the body is coarse, lots of hair, but rough to touch at, not smooth. Saturn is having windy temperament, wat temperament. He have red and depressed eyes. Eyes looks like the person is very depressed, very tensed, very much into pressure. He have an emaciated body. The veins in the body is very prominent. Generally darkest complexion. The person is a tail bearer. And he talks about uh, great things that he have not achieved, not uh, related to reality at all. The person is having muscular body. As, as if you have seen this daily wage worker, they have a muscular body. That muscular body is indicated by Saturn. This person is not kind. He is foolish. Foolish as in the decisions that he takes in life, the way he behaves, it looks like the native is foolish. The native will have large nail and large teeth. The native lives very dirty. Native have impure thoughts. Tamsic tendencies. Native is fierce, short-tempered, aggressive. Saturn indicates old age. So native also looks elder than his age. Generally loves to wear black apparel. The body parts are stiff. The person does not like to do many things. The person have inactivity in their nature. The person have some problems related to food or does not walk properly. Walking too fast, walking too slow, limping while walking are all the things indicated by Saturn. It can be because of a problem or without a problem. Right? Generally remains idle. To do anything, the person have to be pushed multiple times. Otherwise, he will not want to do it. Right? Saturn is also very culminative. Without any pity. Not very intelligent, he will have to, he will need to be told something multiple times in order to remember it or work over it. Right? He is, he lives dirty, is prone to committing sins in life, is uh, personification of anger, right? The, the body starts shaking as the person confronts anything, well, becomes extremely angry. Right. A calm, composed disposition, a balanced disposition is very difficult to maintain for this person. Nervous troubles will be there. The person will be stammering in speaking or will be hesitant in speaking, will repeat words and sentences over and over again because of Saturn. So these tendencies comes to the native or life partner or anyone depending on the house and the planet Saturn is connected with. In body parts, Saturn indicates muscles and nerves. So when Saturn is going to give you a problem, muscular and nervous problems happen. Generally, if you are going in the dasha of Saturn, planets become powerful in their dasha and their dasha, they get the power of time. And if Saturn is weak and afflicted and they are also getting power from dasha, then the problems of Saturn will come. That is muscular and nervous issues. Apart from that, if Saturn is connected to 6th house, 6th house lord, 8th house, 8th house lord, or 12th house or 12th house lord, then 6th house indicating disease, 8th house indicating problems and 12th house indicating losses also indicate that the troubles related to muscles and nerves that is indicated by Saturn will be there. Barren places and places where sweepings and other dirts are other dirt is gathered and anthills are the places indicated by Saturn. So if you gather a lot of a lot of useless things and a lot of dirt in your home, Saturn will be negative. Saturn will give negative results. Bad, these are bad significations, right? You remember it. If you keep your things dirty, this will make your Saturn negative. So if you want to keep your Saturn in good shape, keep Saturn giving good results, you make sure that you keep everything clean. Occasional cleaning of everything 
should be done at least once a month if you want Saturn to be good. Point one. Secondarily, if Saturn is indicating say meeting of spouse, now if the seventh lord is in the Rashi of Saturn, Saturn will indicate the direction and the place where you will meet your life partner. Right? So if Saturn indicates the place of meeting of life partner or as per the Rashi of the 10th Lord, the place where your office is situated in should be understood. So if Saturn is indicating the place where you will meet your life partner or the place where your office will be, it will indicate barren places, places where sweepings are gathered and anthill place. Right? Places where and many anthills are there. This is indicated by Saturn. If you want to do uh, remedies related to Saturn, you can visit these places and do remedies here. Now where sweepings are gathered, what person will be st standing where sweepings are gathered or where this dust and malice is kept? Generally, people will not stand there, right? People will not live there. But people who have this work of you know, taking garbage from each homes and collecting it at a place, you can find them there. And Saturn also indicates low caste people. So if you give some occasional money to people to person who takes your garbage, who sweeps your home, your maid, like people who clean toilets, etc. If you give them occasional money or occasional gifts, this will be a good remedy to strengthen your satin, purify yourself. Torn clothes, blue colored clothes, multicolored clothes are also indicated by satin. You can wear them to strengthen satin, donate them to pacify satin. In metals, satin indicate iron. So wearing iron is good for satin. Generally, people make an iron ring and wear it in this uh, this uh, satin finger right this is good but if you wear it in your right hand you become a servant if you wear it in your left hand you make servants so you should wear it in your left hand i will tell you a good story uh, my wife's driver was wearing this satin ring in the uh, right hand this you know satin finger of his right hand so I met him. I generally don't make remarks to people. He came to know that I am an astrologer. So he like he, he was showing me that, see, sir, I have worn this. And uh, this I have heard it is for Saturn. And all of that he told me. I But because he told me, I told him that you should wear it in Saturn finger of your left hand. At that point of time, when he was showing me all of it, he was just driving our car. One, one and a half year down the lane, now he's having a full fledged taxi business and he's doing well now. Right? So, this is a small tip from my side. Your life will change if you do this. However, wearing iron, I only recommend to males. For females, see, females are considered incarnation of Goddess Lakshmi. And iron is a metal of poor. So women should not wear more of iron. They should do other remedies of satin. That is one thing. Wearing iron in, as in this iron ring in satin finger, that you can do. But wearing other jewelry of iron in other part of body is not recommended because I told you iron is a metal of poor. So owing to this particular reason, instead what you can do is that iron utensils you can donate to temple and needy people. That is one thing. Secondarily, because Saturn indicates iron, if Saturn is connected to 10th house, 11th house, it will indicate that work related to iron, profession related to iron, investment in things related to iron or companies which deal with iron will be good for native. Right. In seasons, Saturn indicate between 15th of January to 15th of March. I told you that the seasons, according to my experience, and this is one of my greatest tool, is used to time events. So if the seventh lord is going into the Dreshkan of Saturn, Capricorn, Aquarius in D3, it will indicate that marriage will happen between 15th of January to 15th of March. If the tenth lord is going into the Dreshkan of Saturn, it will indicate that major jobs, jobs where the native will do his best, native will get between 15th of January to 15th of March, so on and so forth. So as per the Dreshkan occupied by planets and as per the different houses lauded by the planet in the Rashi chart, and natural significations of the planets, you should understand that any planet going into the Dreshkan of Saturn, Capricorn, Aquarius, the result related to that planet will be felt between 15th of January to 15th of March. 
सैटन एस्पेक्ट्स था थर्ड हाउस सेवन हाउस एंड टेंथ हाउस विथ इज हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ एस्पेक्ट सो सैटन इन्फ्लुएंस दीज हाउस फ्रॉम इस पोजिशन अदर प्लान ऑल्सो इन्फ्लुएंस थर्ड हाउस एंड टेंथ हाउस बट विथ ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट एस्पेक्ट ओनली सो आई एनालाइजिंग सैटन दिस फैक्ट है टू बी कैप्ट इन माइंड सैटन इंडिकेट्स द पीरियड ऑफ एन ईयर सो इफ यू आर डूइंग एनीथिंग फॉर सैटन एंड यू वॉन्ट टू बी रियली इफेक्टिव कीप ऑन डूइंग इट फॉर वन ईयर स्ट्रेट वन पॉइंट secondarily if saturn is indicating anything in prashna etc that is generally realized in one year in taste saturn indicates astringent taste you can consume more of astringent tasting food to strengthen your saturn you can donate astringent tasting food or fruit for saturn as well saturn is very friendly to mercury and venus so when saturn is with mercury venus when saturn is connected to mercury venus because saturn is connected to friendly planets the first of all saturn becomes positive and the things indicated by saturn gain of servants etc happen easily and servants etc are good friendly towards the native saturn is very inimical towards sun moon and mars so when saturn is connected to sun moon and mars he is afflicted by his enemies and because he is afflicted by enemies things indicated by saturn gain of servants etc is difficult point 1 and secondly these servants etc are also inimical towards the native doing much damage with the jupiter saturn is you should say saturn is little bit friendly towards jupiter not very friendly but little bit friendly towards jupiter so saturn with jupiter generally things related to saturn are gained quickly but do not sustain for long and saturn with jupiter i have seen according to my experience person gets a great shock in life someone he loves a lot someone he cares about a lot cheats them leaves them which it completely makes the person you know mentally devastated depressed and all of that and after the shock the life and the view point of the native changes completely so this is about the saturn uh, jupiter relationship saturn becomes digvali in the 7th house gets directional strength in the 7th house so two things are there saturn indicates western direction if saturn is getting directional strength then if you go to western direction if your office is in western direction from your home if your home is west facing if you sleep west facing eat west facing think think about things while facing west it will be good for you beneficial for you apart from that when planet becomes digbali when you follow the planet you get success so when saturn is digbali you should follow things indicated by saturn and as you follow saturn you become more fortunate and lucky in this you will have to keep in mind that negative tendencies related to planet you will not follow otherwise the planet will become negative only so good things you will have to follow one more thing is there that often i have talked about saturn being prominent saturn being powerful so these are other power factors i will tell you and when a planet is getting 2 3 or more than 2 3 factors of strength then the planet should be considered as powerful now in this particular scenario what is happening see i am saying that if saturn is connected to 7th house saturn will indicate about spouse not only saturn multiple planets can be connected to 7th house in that particular scenario you will be confused regarding which planet will produce the result actually or how much uh, this planet will be influencing how much the other planet will be influencing so in this scenario you will have to remember that the most powerful planet have the, the maximum influence and other planets as per their strength have varying influences that is point 1 secondarily if multiple relationships are indicated suppose two or three marriages are indicated then if two marriages indicated the description of the first spouse should come from the most powerful planet the description of the second spouse should come from second most powerful planet etc so multiple children multiple siblings can also be there and this is how you decode the multiple siblings and all of these things when saturn is retrograde when saturn is with moon not aspected by moon with moon then also saturn should be considered as powerful if one is born in night time then also saturn is powerful if you want to do remedy or anything related to saturn that should be done in night time for example if you are wanting to wear uh, iron or blue sapphire for saturn you should wear it in night time right saturn indicates hell so if the stronger between sun and moon is situated in the dreshkan or d3 of capricorn aquarius that is of saturn it does indicate that one have came from hell now one have came from hell means the person is going to help because of negative tendencies only so the person will have a lot of negative tendencies all the tamasic tendencies and other bad tendencies laziness indolency aggression and all of these bad things that i have told related to saturn will be there in the nature behavior character of the native 
If the most powerful planet between sixth, seventh, and eighth house is situated in the Treshkan of Saturn, Capricorn Aquarius in D3, it does indicate that after death, native will go to hell. Why someone will go to hell? Because they will commit bad karmas. Hurt others, will not do their duties, ignore his dependents, etc. So these things are indicated. We should be told as a prediction. And if it is in your horoscope, you should avoid doing these things because there is a probability to go to hell after death. So why the astrology is telling you about probability? So that you know about it and change it. Knowledge induces change. Right? When Saturn is between 10 degree to 20 degree in any Rashi, then also Saturn is considered powerful. When Saturn is in Aries, Gemini, Leo, Libra, Sagittarius, Aquarius, then also Saturn should be considered as powerful. Now in Aries, Saturn will be debilitated also, but it is powerful. So debilitated gives a bad result and powerful gives a strong bad result. And this way it should be understood because in this series, you have seen many a times I have also included that the debilitation sign being powerful sign. So that means this planet when debilitated, for example, Mars is debilitated in Capricorn, but Mars is powerful in male signs only. So the debilitation of Mars is not that problematic as compared to debilitation of Saturn because Saturn gets debilitated in Aries and Saturn is powerful in male signs also. So two people, one having Mars debilitated in 10th house and one person having Saturn debilitated in 10th house, you will see the one having Saturn debilitated in 10th house is more into problem. Right? Because Saturn is prominent also and negative because of debilitation. If one is born in dark fortnight, Krishna Paksh, then also Saturn is powerful. If one is born when the sun is in Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio and Sagittarius, then also Saturn is powerful. In the third part of day, if you divide the day into three parts, in the third part, Saturn is powerful. So if Saturn is indicating some result, that will happen in either in night time because Saturn is powerful in night time. Or if it is like getting a job, etc., that you cannot get in night time, then the confirmation of job appointment letter, etc., will come in third part of day. If you want to do something for Saturn, Homa, Mantra, Chanting, Donation, that you should do in third part of the day. If you are born in the third part of the day, then Saturn should be considered as powerful. Saturn is a hint rising planet. Hint rising planet indicates results late in life. So whatever result is indicated by Saturn will generally come late in life. Right? Not if Saturn is positive, I told you before. Apart from that, Saturn indicate animals. So being cautious, not hurting animals, taking care of animals and doing things for animal welfare will also strengthen Saturn as well. Saturn indicates mountains and forests. So living in mountains and forests will strengthen Saturn. Right? Doing things for the preservation of mountains and forests is a good remedy for Saturn. If Saturn is indicating the place where you will meet your spouse or where your office will be situated in, etc., then it will be situated around mountain and forests. You will meet your life partner around mountains and forests. Saturn generally indicates 70 year old person, very old person. So if Saturn is indicating something in horoscope or prashna, it will happen through the help and support of some very old person, elders of the family members, you should say. Metal and root is indicated by Saturn as well. So if Saturn is very strong in Prashna, the question will be related to either some metal, gold, etc. or related to some root, plants, lands, etc. Right? That is That also should be understood. Apart from that, because Saturn indicates metal, donation of iron items, as I told before, is also a very strong remedy for Saturn. Though in gemstones, it is told that staleness sapphire is indicated by Saturn. Blue sapphire is also indicated by Saturn that you can wear to strengthen Saturn, that you can donate to purify Saturn, that you can mix in your food. I recommend, I, I told how to do it in one of the previous video of the series, that you can mix with your food to strengthen Saturn as well. Right, Saturn have a downward aspect. Now downward aspect means someone who is looking downwards, that means the person is ashamed. Right, so Saturn indicates the person being ashamed and all the houses and the planets Saturn is connected with in those areas, one will have to be ashamed. For example, if Saturn is connected to the seventh house, then either the life partner can make you ashamed or the things that you do in your marriage will not let you, you know, like face your life partner will make you ashamed and shameful in front of your life partner. This is how it should be understood. Now downward aspect also means, see, you divide one Rashi into three parts. Now 
if the rashi where the saturn is expecting that is third seventh and tenth rashi from saturn and that rashi is having you say many planets and that rashi is also influenced by many planets other than saturn also then if the rashi in the seventh house is aries taurus cancer sagittarius capricorn then the planet situated between 20 degree to 30 degree will be maximum impacted by saturn if these rashis are the rashis being expected by saturn or if the rashis expected by saturn is gemini leo virgo libra scorpio aquarius and pisces right then planet situated in 0 degree to 10 degree will be maximum impacted by saturn right this is how it should be understood Saturn indicates harsh qualities. Saturn indicates when Saturn gives you nature, it gives you harsh nature. Right? Someone who is having a harsh nature, harsh behavior, cruel tendencies is ruled by Saturn. In Saturn, Dasha and Tardasha, one also have harsh nature and quality. Harsh weather and all of these things are also indicated by Saturn. So if one is struck in a harsh weather, it is because Saturn is giving them problems. Through the analysis of Saturn, one should know about the longevity. Of the native. The things that one will do for livelihood, generally people take Saturn as significator of profession or work also. That is not true. Saturn indicates servitude. So if analyzing Saturn for profession, I don't recommend point one. But if there are no Raj Yogas, etc. in horoscope, then you know one will have to live by servitude and then servitude is indicated by Saturn. So what one will do in servitude to sustain themselves, that should be analyzed by Saturn. Cause of death, should be analyzed by Saturn. Which things will cause adversity and troubles in life should be indicated by Saturn. Prosperity should be seen by Saturn. So if Saturn is powerful, it will make the native prosperous. If weak, then non-prosperous. The reason of death, place of death should be seen by Saturn. What makes the native fearful should be seen by Saturn. Degradation and what causes degradation and misery and humiliation and sickness should be seen by Saturn. Saturn also indicates poverty. So when Saturn is weak, it will give poverty to the person. When Saturn is powerful, it will not give poverty to person. It will give richness to per riches to person, opposite of poverty. Laborer is indicated by Saturn. Reproach is indicated by uh, Saturn. Sin is indicated by Saturn. Impurity is indicated by Saturn. Misfortune is indicated by Saturn. Constancy is indicated by Saturn. Resorting, being forced to take help of low class people is indicated by Saturn. Buffalo is indicated by Saturn. Drowsiness, debts, iron servitude, agricultural tools, jail, captivity, imprisonment is also indicated by Saturn. So you see, if Saturn is weak and afflicted, then imprisonment, captivity is also indicated. Right? This way it should be understood. Saturn signifies 6th house, 8th house, 10th house and 12th house. So do a proper analysis of these houses. The analysis of Saturn is also needed. When Saturn is situated in 8th house, it generally harms the 8th house, harms the significations of 8th house. So you say 8th house indicates misfortune. That is already a bad signification. Saturn in 8th house will give a lot of misfortunes. Saturn 8th house indicates ups and downs. And when Saturn is in 8,000, lots of ups and downs and stability and serenity about future will be there, etc. Saturn is ruled by Sun. So if a house is jointly influenced by Saturn and Sun, because Saturn is ruled by Sun, the result of Sun will be more prominent as compared to the result of Saturn. Secondary, if Saturn and Sun both are afflicted and you want to do remedy, or you say if Saturn and Sun are afflicting each other, you want to do remedy of one planet. Now, because Saturn is ruled by sun, you should do remedy of sun. It will automatically take care of Saturn. Saturn is powerful in Libra. Saturn is powerful in Capricorn. Saturn is powerful in Aquarius. Saturn is powerful in 7th house as his Digbali. Remember, Saturn is powerful in Libra, Capricorn, Aquarius. These are good rashes for Saturn. Here the Saturn is positive as well. In 7th house, Saturn is Digbali. So he's prominent but not beneficial. Right. In these Dreshkanas, Capricorn and Aquarius in these D3 Rashi is also Saturn is powerful. On Saturday, Saturn is powerful in his own Dasha. Any planet or in Saturn's Dasha, Saturn is powerful. While at the last 2-3 degrees of Rashi, Saturn is powerful. Right. In 7th house, Saturn generally does not produce results. So any result, good or bad, indicated by Saturn is not produced when Saturn is situated in 7th house. 
this means to say because you see saturn generally indicate bad results when saturn is connected to seventh house generally other bad results are not produced by saturn until and unless the bad results that he will give in nature because he will be influencing the ascendant the bad results that he will be giving in marriage because he is already situated in the seventh house that's all if saturn is powerful and well placed in horoscope it will make mercury and rahu positive as well you say if saturn is powerful in horoscope the bad results of mercury and rahu will be controlled will not come forward if mercury rahu and saturn all three of them are afflicted or weak then only by remedying saturn automatic remedy of mercury and rahu will also happen if saturn is malefic afflicted or producing bad results then it will lead native to distress by doing things which he will be forced to do because of poverty because of bad nature because of company of or being pro, being pressurized by evil people because of uh, getting bad advices from friends because of getting forced pressurized by thieves and saturn will also produce diseases related to joints so one learning is there that if saturn is giving you bad result he will also make you do things under pressure do immoral and ethical things under pressure because it looks like that it is the only way to survive just you have to control this tendency there will be other way you will have to look for other way but don't give to don't compromise with these bad immoral unethical results if you want to make sure that saturn keeps on giving you good result right people who sell oil produce oil servants hunters blacksmith elephant crow cuckoo these animals and these people are indicated by saturn as you help them serve them you improve your saturn if one is born in night time saturn indicates father and the strength etc of the saturn should indicate the well being nature behavior character of the father for people born in day time paternal uncle is indicated by saturn so if saturn is afflicted etc then paternal uncle will be creating problems if saturn is powerful etc then paternal uncle will be supporting the native saturn indicates sesamum seeds so doing homa with sesamum seeds donation of sesamum seeds or you or using sesamum seeds oil of sesamum seeds etc will strengthen saturn when saturn is uh, connected to ascendant he will generally give peculiarities in left leg birth marks etc in left leg it will give thorny trees sapless trees weak trees useless trees are indicated by saturn if you plant these trees you will be activating your saturn now be careful do you really want to activate your saturn if it is 6th house lord 8th house lord 12th house lord you will not want to activate it in that particular scenario don't plant these flowers if saturn is a good planet then you can plant these flowers one example will be cactus flower or tree sorry cactus will be there planting these flowers taking these flowers as in a public garden etc will strengthen your saturn planting in home will activate your saturn you will have to ask yourself do you want to activate your saturn taking care of these uh, plants uh, planted in a public place will only rectify and pacify saturn so there you can do it saturn is exalted at 20 degrees of libra is in multricone between 0 degree to 20 degree of aquarius and because he is exalted at 20 degrees of libra he is debilitated at 20 degrees of aries out of the 10 incarnations the avatar of lord vishnu kurma avatar is indicated by saturn as well right kurma avatar and other avatars apart from ram krishna and narsim should not be worshiped at home so can be worshiped at temples etc only right and because saturn indicates kurma avatar and kurma is the tortoise a taking care of tortoise etc like donating for the preservation of tortoises and all of that x y z will also prove to be a very good strong and beneficial remedy for saturn right